The daily intake of water is essential not only for the physical conditioning of the body, but for maintaining optimum emotional and mental states as well. When thirst manifests, dehydration is already underway and the body requires some two to three liters of water per day for several weeks to restore the tissues to their proper balance. Recommended water intake. There is no real one size fits all approach to water consumption. Non-sports science doctors often recommend eight times eight ounces of fluids. That's 64 total ounces. Of course, athletes have figured out that they require a much greater intake and generally ingest one ounce of water intake per body weight pound. That means a 170 pound man requires much more hydration than just the usual recommended 64 ounces. Another general rule of thumb that has been adapted by personal trainers is that men should consume 128 ounces of water daily and women should consume 88 ounces. This does not mean that you need to drink this amount of water every day. Other beverages as well as the moisture contents of foods also count towards your water intake. Exercise. When exercising or engaging in any activity that makes you sweat, you need to drink extra water to compensate for the fluid loss. Drink 12 ounces of water two hours before a workout and another 12 ounces 30 minutes before you begin. While you're exercising, you should drink four to eight ounces every 15 minutes. You should also consume an additional 12 ounces within 30 minutes of the end of your workout. During intense exercise involving significant sweating, you need a sports drink or some sort of electrolyte, coconut water, rather than just plain water to replace the sodium loss in sweat. The human being's body is comprised of 75% water or aqueous fluid. Humanity at its earliest origins come from an aquatic species. Since the days of creation, the role played by water has not changed. Human beings owe a good part of their life to water. In crisis situations, fear for example, the body prioritizes the vital organs getting its water reserves and continues for as long as the body experiences water as scarce and ceases as soon as the body's water balance has been restored. Now this mechanism contributes to survival as part of the fight or flight governed by the sympathetic nervous system. Because of the hectic pace of life in the modern world, it's crucial for people to drink water often. The control of water distribution in the body is of vital importance in regards to organ survival. Of these, the brain comes first. The brain represents 2% of the total body weight, but is irrigated by 18 to 20% of the body's blood circulation, whose flow will fluctuate depending on the brain's activity. And water is essential for life. Dehydration is a starting point for numerous physiological disorders. In fact, daily intake of water is essential not only for the physical conditioning of the body, but for maintaining optimum emotional and mental states as well. Joint pains that are due to the destruction of the joint surfaces can often be relieved by sufficient intake of water. This enables the production of hormones responsible for rebuilding these tissues. Discs in vertebrae require lubrication, especially when the disc has suffered depression. Asthma. Histamine is a neurotransmitter that regulates the bronchial muscles. Water is crucial to heal this pulmonary condition. Plenty of water will allow histamine levels to go down in three to four weeks and the allergic reaction to disappear. A certain amount of salt is also important for asthmatics because it's a natural antihistamine with anti-mucosal effects. Digestion. A glass of water reaches the intestines in three minutes. The digestion of solid foods requires a great deal of water. The mucus of the stomach and intestines is 98% water. A glass of water drunk half an hour before mealtime will help the stomach absorb solid and acidic foods.